pitching a path to power. A general election some time off, but the campaign now very much on. I didn't realise we we're going to have all the people up on the other floors. This a leader on the up in polls well. now laying down really his plans really for office. Mission-driven government. An answer to the widespread call to fix the fundamentals. A long-term plan to unlock our pride and our purpose. A profound statement of intent. Five missions to grow the economy and improve opportunities, become a clean energy powerhouse, improve the NHS and make our streets safe. But will it cut through? People want their country to work. But can you honestly say that your blue sky thinking, rather than clear specific policies such as cutting work in people's taxes or ensuring that they'll get a hospital appointment, is in any way relatable? You're quite right to say, look, what's, what are you going to do about the NHS this winter? What are you going to do about energy bills um, this spring? But the problem if we stop there with that sort of retail offer for the here and now is that we'll never fix the fundamentals. We've had 13 years of sticking plaster politics. We've had 13 years of going round and round in circles. People here have an appetite for change, but they're not yet sure what that looks like. He's keeping everything vague enough that it, you know, ticks all the boxes without actually... So yeah, you cementing a position. Do you sort of feel you know what he stands for? Uh, not particularly. You think Starmer's better for the Labour Party? There's more chance of getting elected than Corbyn. It doesn't matter what you do then or who you vote for, like nothing will change. Yeah, 100%. So you don't trust any politicians? No, not at all. And that lack of trust is hurting the Conservatives. Labour are now 25-plus points ahead in the polls, not necessarily because people like Labour, but rather they seem to dislike this Conservative government. And Sir Keir Starmer is now trying to begin to seal the deal with voters. These five missions will form the skeleton of the next Labour manifesto. But what it all boils down to is still so very vague. There's still no meat on the bones when it comes to either policy or priorities. He can't quite believe his luck after suffering the worst election defeat since 1935. Bringing Labour back must have felt like so mission impossible. You. But there's still some way to go yet. Beth Rigby, Sky News in Manchester.